Hey you guys, so I have another quick wee video for you and the hair that I'm using is Yes One and it comes in 18, 16, 14 and a 12 inch and it also comes with a, an invisible closure. This is how the hair looks on the the model here. I got it on sale for $13.99 but I believe it's $19.99. Um, I think that's average for most hair, hair supply stores. I got two packs because I have a big head and I wasn't sure if it was going to stretch. So this is what the hair looks like. I love, 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 love the curl pattern. It's a Brazilian wave and it has Remy fiber. I'm just dangling it here for you guys so you can see the length. I didn't have a ruler on hand but I do believe that the length is actually true to size. This is the invisible part closure and I am very impressed with it. The netting is very well structured. It is very hard it's coarse it's tough so it can't be easily snagged it can't be easily torn i would su probably suggest um ways of using this could be you know to glue it down by way of cutting it along the trimming the edges or you can just simply sew the netting down after examining the hair the only problem that i have with this hair is that the weft comes very 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 thin um, I kind of did expect that though because a lot of hair of this type from the beauty supply store, the wefts are normally thin. I was hoping it wouldn't be, but it, it was. But that's okay. Uh, that's why I chose to actually do it as a quick weave and not sew the hair down. Oh yeah, and just a reminder, you guys know when I do my quick weaves, what I normally do is I put a shower cap underneath and then I, I put a stocking cap or a wig cap on top of that and then I line that with a paper towel and then I put a another stocking cap on top of that to hold it all together. Um, the tissue again is to just absorb some of the glue to give it more friction. This is the easy part. I'm just laying the tracks from back, from um, in the back, uh, going up to about like to reach the crown of my head. Well, actually, no, I'm lying <laughs> until the the 18 inch tracks run out, and I'm hoping that it stretch pretty far because I, I want a, a good amount of length on the the lower quadrant of my head, or I guess you can say like the the first quarter of my head I would like for it to be filled with the 18 inch hair so I'm hoping that it's stretching and I don't have to use a second pack of hair y'all I'm lazy so sometimes I just like doubling up on my tracks and then gluing them that way as well Okay, so this is how far the 18 track has stretched. So I'm, I'm okay with that, I'm satisfied. So now I'm gonna go move over, move on to the, um, the 16 inches. Now, I promised myself that I would not put glue on my hair ever again. So to avoid putting glue on my hair, what I basically am gonna do is, I'm gonna try reinvent a way to install the closure. Um, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm, I'm mapping out what I'm, how I'm gonna lay my closure and I actually found a way, found, well you guys will see what I'm gonna do. But yeah, I hope it turns out okay. Oh yeah, and um, I didn't show you guys. I thought I recorded this part, but I, I didn't record it. So basically, um, I just I outlined on my wig cap how I wanted my tracks to lay. Now I know it wasn't gonna go exactly that way, but I just wanted an outline of how I wanted the hairstyle to go, and that's the brown looking makeup stuff you probably see on my cap.
<laughs> Please don't pay me to whine. I'm just really excited, I guess you can say, about I love these curls. I had curls before, but these are a different type of curls, and I, I, I'm really feeling this hair right now, so y'all just excuse me for a moment. I'm not going to fully style my hair. I'm just going to give it some shape. You don't want the to have curly hair without any type of shape, especially with my face anyway, because I got a round face. So I'm, I want to wear the hair. I don't want it to look like the hair is wearing me. So I'm going to trim it a little bit. And um, also, I'm going to show you guys how I blend my natural hair with the wig. I don't want the ends to look so blunt and artificial around the hairline. Well, that little section in the hairline so I'm going to show you how I I blend that as well and I'm sorry I can't show you right now I do have to run <laughs> I apologize but um yeah this is just the install right now so hope you guys like it thank you for watching please always remember to like comment and subscribe and I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video bye